Today I am using a Timeless Stick Foundation by Beauty Society in the shade Delight. I took a special color match test to determine which shade would match my skin and this one really does. Um, it's a very light shade and I enjoy it. It's creamy, it's light and airy and I'm just applying it first in the areas that I need the most coverage. Next, I'm going to blend with a brush. I like this brush. It really, really gets all the crevices. And um, I blend lightly, not too harsh. And I do blend it into my eyes too. Um, I am not going to be wearing eyeshadow today. I just don't have time for an eyeshadow look. I'm a mom, so I just have to cut out a few steps for myself, and this is the routine I find that works for me. Boom. Next, we are going to use the Incognito Concealer. Wow, it's huge. Yes, I think I'm going to get good use out of this. And I like to apply it with a brush, a flat brush. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm going to put it at the inner corners of my eye and the outer corners of my eye. Yes. And next I am going to be blending it. I do use a beauty blender for my eyes. Um, I just find it easier and, and a little, you know, more gentle for my eyes. And I do put it on top too, because, I mean, I do get a little bit of darkness around my eyes and I need to cover that up. And this is, this does a great job of that, covering that. Well, here we go, the face stick blush. Yes, yes, yes. I love this one. It's in Famous, also by Beauty Society. Just need a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. And then I take my blush brush and just blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. I really like this color. It kind of goes with, it just goes with me, with my shades, my autumn palette. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put a little on my nose too to kind of even it out. Boom. Okay, next, I'm going to line my lips with a lip liner. I tend to go for those retractable lip liners. So this one is a pomegranate shade. I have had this forever and I just cannot get rid of it. I'm going to line, line my lips a little and then I'm gonna fill in just the corners And just kind of put fill it in more and uh, yeah it look looks like I missed a little bit of evenness on the other side just really want to make them look full um, yeah and so I am actually going to use the blush as a lip. Yes, yes, yes. It makes a great lipstick. I'm gonna take a flat angled brush and fill in my lips with this famous color. And it is like a red pink. And so it's gonna really blend in well with that uh, lip liner. And I'm, I'm blending the colors together. I don't want any feathering, especially with a red lip. You do not want feathering to happen. It just doesn't look good. You definitely need to use a, a liner when you're doing a red lip. And I find that when I use a brush on my lips, it is much easier to control how much goes on there and, and the blending. I'd say I messed up a little bit there. <laughs> But this color is amazing. Yeah, I really like this color. 
Next, I am going to do setting spray because I do that before I do my mascara. It just It's just easier if I do it before my mascara. Next, I'm using, I think this is a Benefit uh, mascara. I think they're the ones, yeah, it's called They're Real. And I just like those flat wands for mascara. Um, I do this little twisty thing. I twist up, but I also do, like, I put it like this so that I can lift up. And it actually does help, like, separate and curl the lashes no matter what kind of of mascara you use. I'd highly recommend doing this little trick. Um, the curling and roll, the rolling and the separating. See, it just, it's really helpful to do that. And I'm the type of girl that I will work on my lashes for, you know, a couple minutes because I want to get a very voluminous effect. Yeah, so we're going to do the other lashes now on the other eye and yeah you just want to you want to I think really just want to curl it up curling it up with the wand like this really does help and I like to curl 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 yep I will just be working on this, you know, like you got to get it, get it right. I don't know. I'm the, am I the only girl that has, makes a weird face? I know I'm not the only one that makes a weird face when I'm doing my mascara. Mouth open. <laughs> yep. Got to get those lashes looking good. Now I do the bottoms. And what I like to do. Okay. So I, yeah. We're on to the brows now. <laughs> the bottoms were are pretty simple to do. Um, but yeah, I like this All May brow pencil. That's like, it's like in a triangular shape on the end. Really helps to fill it in. And I just do very light strokes. I just fill in the sparse areas. Don't want to go crazy. Make it look natural. Yep, do the other side very lightly. It is a challenge to do your brows when you're looking at yourself, recording yourself on your smartphone. <laughs> and, not a, and not a regular mirror. <laughs> and then you would fluff them out with the spoolie again. That's a spoolie brush. Okay. Now... I'm just going to add a little setting pow setting powder to the ear. Because, like, I think I overdid my blush a little. When I overdo my blush, even if it's by accident, whatever, um, I like to put a little setting powder to, like, make it look more natural looking. Yeah, so I guess I did go overboard <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I'm a I love blush. It's just, like, especially a cream blush is just so amazing. Especially when you have combination skin like me. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more easy makeup looks.